Let's look at another method for creating a key using the color of an image. Nuke has a node called the hue keyer. And so technically this is actually one of the built-in keyers, but it's worth mentioning as its own separate uh, key because it's useful for more than just pulling mats. In fact, it's actually not very useful for pulling mats as a beauty mat, but it is sometimes useful in conjunction with other w mat types or mat extraction techniques or for isolating specific areas of color. And we'll look at an example in a second of that as well. So the way it works is once you bring it up, I've dropped down a hue keyer here, it will show you the hue that it is detecting with this yellow line. So as I probe the image, you'll see the flesh tones, sort of detects the hue here. So it gives you a hint over what you color pick, what hue it is. Let's try to pull a mat for the screen. Interesting thing about the screen is that the hue is consistent, even though the, the value is not very consistent of the screen. It's kind of a little darker over to the left here, not evenly lit but the hue is almost perfectly consistent across the whole screen. By default, it puts its output into the alpha channel. So let's look at the alpha channel and let's start adjusting it here. I'm gonna lasso all of the points and I'm just gonna start dragging this box here. And rather than uh, running, let, let's leave it inverted for now and see what we can get. It seems to be pulling a pretty doing a pretty good job of finding what's foreground and what's screen. If we want to adjust it, we're, I'm trying to isolate the hue to cut the hue a little tighter, but we can also adjust it via the saturation. So I can say only things that are very saturated uh, should be allowed into the mat. So because it's being inverted here, it's actually inverting the mat to make these excluded from this mat. So I'm trying to adjust the saturation so that only the most saturated green gets included. So there you go. As you can see, it's not a super clean mat, but it has created a mat based on, based on hue. It uh, can also be used to, for example, isolate skin tone. So let's delete this one and create another hue keyer. And this time we'll pick skin tones, which are right around here. So I'm going to take the hue, select the hue, and scoot it over so that it's uh, over in this part of the hue. And we'll look at the alpha channel as we do this. I'll invert it in this case because I'm trying to select the skin tones. And as you can see, it's doing a pretty good job of isolating these skin tones. This is a trick that a lot of colorists use to, to isolate uh, skin tones in particular. I mean, in the case uh, here, you might be able to pull like a luminance key off of all this rock and exclude it from this mat if you were trying to just isolate skin tones for the purposes of perhaps uh, adjusting them uh, separately from the rest of your color adjustments. So that's the hue keyer. Now a related keyer or a node that has a keyer built in is called the hue correct. And this one is popular for adjusting colors uh, by hue. So as I mentioned, uh, Oftentimes a trick of the pros is to select skin tones and adjust them separately. You could use the hue correct to adjust skin tones directly in here. And I've also seen it used for doing screen suppression, which is what I wanted to show you here. So we found the screen color right here, and it has built into it the ability to suppress red, green, and blue screens. So I'm going to say, I want to green suppress things only in this hue. So this is a, it has a keyer inside it that is saying only the things that are green do this hue suppression or green suppression algorithm too. 
So this can give you a lot of control. You have to be careful with it though, because it's also possible to go a little overboard with it and suppress more than you meant to. And because the basis of its identification of the screen is essentially a hue keyer, it can have the same problems and limitations that a hue keyer will have. So let's A, B between these two and see if it's, it's not changing his blue jeans too much. It's mostly just pulling out the green. The skin tones are pretty much staying intact. And we still had that same problem with the screen being kind of bluish because of the green suppression algorithm uh, is working with the same kind of limit by logic in this case. But if we like to, we could also use the saturation slider here to reduce the saturation of the screen to just kind of knock out the saturation. And if you wanted to, you could use this to adjust the color of the screen. So in this case, they're going over. Let's drop this in. We'll, rather than using our screen suppression, and let's put it over the background and see how it looks. It looks pretty good. We're running into this dark artifact on the edge which is probably a result of the hue keyer. So could also be an issue with the mat, but overall it's creating a pretty decent result. So that's another node that's worth knowing about, the hue correct node for doing screen suppression. Just make sure you use it with a light hand because it can really get you into trouble if you don't. Let's compare the results here. Huh. Yeah, hue suppress is creating a interesting edge now one of the tricks that i like to do is sometimes i'll use multiple types of screen suppression and i will mix them together because no single screen suppression technique will give me what i want here's the hue suppress it's giving me all kinds of weird bright edges because of the hue keyer that's built in and here is my screen suppress suppression my hand rolled screen suppression if i want to mix between the two I can use a dissolve node. So a dissolve has a, it's like a crossfader that will fade between any, anything you attach. You can have multiple inputs, but uh, two, if you just want to fade between two. So now I can take the hue correct, which is on one, and I can mix in some of my hand rolled keyer, hand rolled suppression. So that's a trick that I like to use when I'm not, when I can't make up my mind. I can see his hair there.